So in this lab, we need to configure Writing Information Protocol, or RIP version 2, to enable connectivity between devices in the network. Once again, on PC1, if I try and ping 172.16.1.2, which is the DNS server, I'm getting request timeout. And that's because router 1 doesn't have that route in its routing table. So as an example on router 1, if I look at the routing table of that router, router 1 only has connected and local routes in the routing table. This destination is unreachable. The router doesn't have a route to this network. So let's configure RIP on router 1. Show IP interface brief will show us the IP addresses configured on the router. We can see that this IP address is configured on gigabit 000. This IP address is configured on gigabit 001. Those are class C IP addresses. So on the router, router RIP network 192.168.1.0. They are class C networks, so... I'm going to enter them with the first three octets specified in the network command. I'm also going to specify that the version of RIP used is a version 2. So show IP protocols on the router shows us that this router now has RIP enabled on this interface as well as this interface. That's correct per our topology diagram. The version of RIP sent and received is a version 2. The router is routing for these networks. But at the moment, it hasn't learnt about any other networks in the topology because we need to enable RIP on router 2. So on router 2, show IP protocols. No routing protocols are enabled. Only routes that are visible are connected and local routes. We can now enable RIP on this network as well as this network. So router RIP network 192.168.2.0 class C network 192.168.3.0 version 2 is the RIP version that we're going to use. So show IP RIP database at the moment, the router knows about this network and this network. Notice automatic summarization is enabled here. What you typically want to do in the real world and in most labs is type no order summary. And you want to do that on all your RIP routers. We don't want the routes automatically summarized. RIP database shows that this entry is automatically summarized. This entry is not automatically summarized. Doesn't make too much difference here because they are class C networks. RIP is a slow routing protocol. It takes it a long time to converge. But notice we have learnt about this network, 192.168.3.0 from 192.168.2.2 which is router 2. So router 1 has learnt about this network from router 2. Next router to configure is router 3. Before I enable RIP show IP interface brief, notice this is a class B network. I'm not going to type no order summary just to show you what happens if you don't use the no order summary command and then I'll enable it later. Sorry, once again, show IP route shows us that this network is directly connected, and so is that network. So router RIP network 172.16.1.0. Now you can put it in that way, but notice what's gonna happen. That's gonna be changed by the router because that is a class B network. So in the show run output, notice it displays like this, even though 
I typed it in like this. It's a class B network. So it displays like that. Do show IP route again. This is the other network that we need to advertise into RIP. You only advertise directly connected networks with your network statements. I'm going to set it to version two, but I'm not going to disable automatic summarization. So show IP RIP database. We currently only know about our directly connected networks, but hopefully we should learn about the other routes. As you can see there, we've learned about network 192.168.1.0, as well as 2.0, so show IP RIP database. Those networks should appear in the database. There they are. On router one, show IP route. Router one has learnt about this network. Notice it's automatically being summarized. Because I didn't disable automatic summarization, this slash 24 network is being advertised as this by router two. On router two, show IP route, we also see the automatic summarized route. The router that's actually doing the automatic summarization is router three because we are crossing a class full boundary. In other words, we are going from a class B network to a class C network. On router three, show IP interface brief. Class B on this interface, class C on this interface. So router three is automatically summarizing that route when advertising it to router two. So show IP RIP database, notice router two only sees the summarized route. It doesn't see the specific route in the routing table. The same is true on router one, show IP RIP database, we only see a summarized route. That's not a problem in this network, but it will be a problem if you have a class B network on this side. Before I remove the automatic summarization, let's check that the network works. So can PC1 ping the DNS server? Took it a while, but notice ping now succeeds. PC1 can ping the DNS server. Can PC1 ping Cisco.com? The name Cisco.com has been resolved by the DNS server, and notice pings succeed. So can the PC browse to Cisco.com? The answer is yes, it can. So in other words, we do have connectivity from the PCs to the web servers on the right. And that's because routes are being advertised between the routers. A trace route from PC2 to Cisco.com shows us that the traffic goes to router one, router two, router three, and then to Cisco.com. So we've successfully configured routing in this network. These devices can connect to the servers. Now let's check that switch one can ping the servers. At the moment on switch one, show IP route shows us that we don't have a default gateway configured. This output tells us that IP routing is not enabled on the switch. So we need to use the IP default gateway command and point it to the default gateway, which is router one. Router one has this IP address configured on gigabit 000. So that's the IP address that the switch should use. Show IP interface brief will show us the IP address configured on the switch. So it should at this point be able to ping router one, which it can, and it should be able to ping the DNS server 172.16.1.2, which it can. And if we do a trace to that, you can see that the traffic is traversing the routers in the topology. 
So I've got IP connectivity configured, even though a summary route is being advertised for this network, it still works. But best practice is to disable automatic summarization.